Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing another drawing tutorial today and as you can see my paper is taking up a whole lot more of my screen than it typically does. That is because I am doing this drawing horizontal so that I can fit more of my drawing into my paper. So if you want to make sure you tilt your paper so that it is sitting on its side like hot dog style instead of hamburger style, that should work really well for you. So today's drawing is going to be a panda, but with a twist at the end. This was requested by some of my middle school students today, so I hope you all enjoy it. So as per usual, I am going to start with the eye, but because pandas have eyes that are like within these big black splotches on their faces, I am going to fix that so that it's a little bit different from normal. So first of all, I'm going to draw a line like that. So I'm doing this really specifically so that I can create these shapes that go around the eyes and they have to fit around the nose too. So I'm like making kind of a puzzle piece here. So first I'm gonna draw that and then I'm gonna draw that. So it's almost like I would draw a gumdrop, but I don't have the middle of the gumdrop in the top. So you wanna draw those two lines first and then I'm going to draw that big patch that goes around the eye. And this is shaped kind of like a peanut. or like the number eight. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. So now I have my two kind of peanut shapes on either side. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my eye inside of here. But when I go to color all this in, I have to be a little bit careful with that eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I would color it if I was gonna color this all black. However, if you would like to color all of the black parts of your panda a different color, then you can also do that. So like if you want, you can skip the step that I'm about to do and then save it for later when you go into color in this portion and color it a totally different color. Like it could be blue or it could be purple or even whatever your favorite color would be. So I'm just gonna start coloring and if you're doing this black, notice how I'm weaving the space right around the eye so that it is white. So you can see I have a little bit of a line that's going around the eye that was created just by me shading and avoiding it. Just like that. Then I can color in the rest. There we go. So you can see the way that I did that was I drew my eye first, then I just shaded all around it. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there's my eye. Now it's shaded just like normal. Now if you want, and it makes it easier, you could also draw this circle around that eye, making sure you leave a white little line around that eye or a white space between the eye and the black line that you're making and you just shade all the rest. Okay. So that's gonna be how you start off your panda. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a tiny little dash right there and that's gonna be the top of my panda's nose. Then I'm gonna come right down in here, kind of along the bottom of those peanut shapes and I'm gonna draw my panda's nose. Pandas have a really, really long nose. So it's not like the little triangles I usually make. I made, it almost actually looks like I drew a smiley face in there right now. Just give it a second, there we go. Now it's all focused. So it almost looks like I drew a smiley face in the middle of there. So it looks a little funny right now, but that is gonna be the panda's nose. And I just draw a straight line across the top of that smiley face and I shade it in all black. 
And then once I do that, I am going to draw my sideways number three, as I usually do. This time it is very flat. You want to make sure it's pretty flat, and that's going to be his mouth. Then I'm just going to give him a little chin, just like that. And that's pretty much most of your panda's face. Pandas have very simple faces, so we don't have to do a huge amount of detail here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right next to my peanut shape, and I'm going to draw the cheek of the panda. And if you'll notice, my cheek isn't just like round. I almost imitated the peanut shape. So you can see I did a curve here and a curve here that look very, very similar to the side of that black portion of the panda's eyes. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go right underneath there. So it's very round, just like a big smiley face. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side where I kind of imitated the peanut shape. And then that's just kind of making almost like a number three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw the top of my panda's head. Just like that. So you can see I actually didn't totally finish this side. That's because I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap there whenever I draw the rest of my details. If you want, you can just draw this so that it closes. But I'm gonna go over here now and I'm gonna draw the panda's ears. And again, you'll see me shading them in. If you want to shade them a different color, like purple or blue or some kind of crazy colors later, you can totally do that. So you can always just draw this and leave it blank for when you go in to color it in later. Or you can follow me exactly if you would prefer to do that. I think his ear needs to be a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna draw the other ear right here just like that. So it was right on the edge of that line that I had drawn earlier. And to give a little bit of a better explanation of where I'm putting the ears, I'm making sure that they line up almost with the edge of the peanut shape. So see this one lines almost with the edge of that peanut shape and then it goes around back over here. Then this one actually lines up with the edge of that peanut shape as well. So if you're having trouble getting your ear placement just right, just try to make sure that you're lining them up with the edge of the peanut shape that goes around the eyes. That'll give you the best placement of your ear so it'll look the most realistic. Alrighty, so now my panda has his ears. So I'm going to draw his body now. And to do that, I'm going to come right behind here, and it's right in line with that line that I already had. And then I'm going to draw the back so that it's big and round like that. And I may have come up a little bit too high, but that's okay. My panda will just have a bigger back. So then after I draw that, I want it to come down. And I'm kind of going to stop there because I need to come over here to draw these legs so that I can draw all the details to fill in all up here. So you're gonna draw this curve and come back down. And then that's about it. There we go. Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. So curve up, back down. All right, so now what I wanna do is I am going to draw my panda's front feet. So to do that, I'm gonna come right in the middle of the chin and I'm gonna go down like this. So I'm gonna start just with that diagonal line, and then I'm gonna draw the leg going down like this. And then his foot is just like a pointy like that. And then I go back up the other side. So we go down, we make a little pointy like that, and then we go back up the other side. And you wanna make sure his feet or his legs are pretty thick across because pandas have really big legs. And if you give it a really tiny spindly leg right here, it's gonna look like a very silly little panda. Now I'm making my other leg and to do that, I'm coming right off the middle of that line, down in a straight line, make a point, just like that. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna draw his tummy and you can see it's a little curvy and it curves back up. 
and then I want to draw his leg, back leg. So I'm going to go down like this, make a point. So this is like the letter S, make a point. And then I'm just going to have that line come back up to meet the line that I made originally. And then I'll make my other panda's leg right underneath the tummy. So I'm starting right in the middle. It curves just like that one, except it's not like a full S shape. It's just kind of like a mini one. Make my pointy and come back up. So now my panda looks kind of like a panda mixed with a polar bear right now because I haven't filled in all of the rest of the details. So what I want to do now is I want to draw this line. I'm going to come right up there like that. And then I want another line just like this. It's going to come up to that leg. And then all of this in here is going to be black. Then I also want to do this one it's like a big sock. And then this one is all black as well. So I'm just going to take a minute to shade all that in. If you do not want to shade yours in black and you're waiting to color at the end, please go ahead and just skip this portion of the video. You can fast forward. I think I might need a new marker. So it's taking me a little bit longer to shade this in than it normally would. Alrighty, that's not the most perfect coloring job ever, but that's okay. We just want to make sure that y'all can see what it can look like once it's all done.
There we go. So now you can see what this panda looks like with his feet colored in. I'm sorry that they are not the most perfect coloring lines that I have ever done, but hopefully that works out so that you can see. I also, I'm just going to add a little tail to my panda. You want, you can add a tail. If not, you do not have to. So I gave him a little black tail. Now for the twist in this video, it was requested by some of my students to give this panda bear some little butterfly wings. So I am going to give him some butterfly wings. If you would like to add these, you are welcome to. If you do not want to add them and you would prefer to just keep the panda being a realistic looking panda, you're welcome to do that as well. So to do butterfly wings, you want to make sure that you keep them. The first one is always triangular. You can see I'm really making these super tiny because I don't have a ton of space at the top of my paper. So the first wing is kind of triangular, except that this is very round. Then the second wing is going to be very, very round, just like that. So that's gonna be my first, first two wings. And then I'm gonna make my other wings right over here. So I'm gonna make another one that's a little bit of a different angle from the first one. So this one went straight up and this one is going a little bit more towards like nine o'clock. Or not nine o'clock, I would say 10 o'clock, if you were looking at a clock. And then I'm gonna make my little curve like this. Then I'll make another little line like that right there so that it looks like there's two little wings that are opening up behind these ones. And then if you wanted to make it look a little bit more like a butterfly, we can do that just by adding a line here. And then you can make two little circles right there like that. Shade in the rest black. And then I'm gonna teach you how to make a realistic sort of butterfly wing. So you start with just a little oval, and then you just go out like this, then like this, and like that. So oval, then three lines towards the black line. Then on the back wing, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make our little circles and make the rest of the wing black. And I just made two little circles on the bottom wing and two little circles on the top wing. And then for this one, we're gonna make another little, well, not quite as much of an oval as this one, just kind of a little hump. And then we're gonna do two lines like that. And that's gonna be that set of butterfly wings. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the back ones. Well, this one you can't see too much, so I'm just gonna shade that one black, just like that. And I'm gonna make the line for this one, make my two little circles. Shade all that black. And all of this black. And then I'm going to make my oval. And one, two, three lines. Now my panda has some tiny little butterfly wings and our drawing with a twist is complete. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope this really helped y'all to make some awesome looking pandas.